a, interesting question that I have for you guys, uh, and I, that's where Leeds are going to go next season. Obviously, they're not going to get relegated, but they're not going to qualify for any European spot. This is a really difficult team to read when they're playing the game, but looking down the road into next season, I guess, you know, not to open up too big a can of worms, but what type of team do you think this team turns into? Sheffield got promoted, had a great season, and now they're sure relegation. Uh, Wolves got promoted and immediately looked like competitors. So do you think this team is here to stay? Which direction do you think they're headed after this year? I, th- I think Leeds shows more ambition from a signings perspective than Sheffield did of last season, so I think that offers them more of an ability to stay up. I, I don't know that they'll finish even as high as they are this season. Uh, just based on... It depends who they sign. Is this a yo-yo club, essentially? Because is the short no, answer I th- that I question? think the caliber of the manager is better than... I think Beasley is way more capable is, in terms they, of Chris they Wilder. They so many goals up. They do, but it, you just fix it up by signing. Like Connor said, they're more ambitious with their signings. So they get a, they get a decent a decent center back alongside Lorente. I mean, I mean, but think about the market though. Going into this summer, do you think yeah. there's really going to be a market for a team like Leeds to be able to sign a yeah. center back that can turn their defense around? Yeah, do you think it this could becomes be a, a second season I think, syndrome. We I think next season they just capitulate and I mean, look Bielsa's like Bielsa's name alone will bring anyone. Name in. alone, and the fact that Bielsa is such a smart manager, he knows the right player to bring in at the right time. He could be an unknown name in La Liga, in the French league, in a league that we don't really know. And he knows he's been. Yeah. Scout, he's had scouts. So this on them. team's more likely to head towards up, up the table than down. or remain it's in just the stable. Same I think. I think they're yeah. going to be stable. Gonna, I think it's going to remain yeah. competitive. I mean, like, you look yeah. at. They're yeah. not going to. I don't think they're going to challenge with top five. You top look, six. Yeah, they're not going to be like a Leicester, or at least next season they won't. But like you look at um, the signings that um, Chris Wilder, no Marco oh. brought in, and like. Rodrigo is a phenomenal player. He, he's been struggling with injuries and not getting full time. But when he's on the pitch, you realize that, like, all right, this guy is a player that looks almost out of place in this lead side yeah. due to his quality. And then with what Rafinha has done in the second half of the season, like, if if they bring in two more players of that caliber, you're like, wow, this could be, like, this could be a fucking team. Yeah. I mean, it has to be a different... That finishes in the Europa spot, maybe? No, no, no. I don't think, no. Not top I, six. I think eight might top be the eight highest for sure. finish. But I, don't, I mean, if, if what you're guys saying is true and, and he does bring in a couple of good defenders at the right time, why can't they be a team like West Ham? Why can't they be a team like... I just don't... I think it's a, a lot to ask for them off the bat coming off just being promoted. Like, if they finish maybe a, a step above of where they are now next season, like... They're not going to have. A, that's not a bad season. Like these, t- these things take time, and Leeds are invested in Beasley. Right. Like there's no reason to rush. They just got back up to kind of take too many risks. Is is not worth it with Leeds because they've been pushing to come back up in the Premier League for so long. I think they're in a good place right now with the players like we've mentioned, and I think players like Rafinha. If Rafinha sees Beasley signing players that like are going to bring quality to the side, and they're going to only progress, and he's going to stay. Yeah. So I think for the sake of the Premier League, for the sake of Leeds. Leads his future. They're gonna they're gonna play it safe, but and make the right signings, make the right moves. Beasley's a smart a smart man, and so is their owner. If you watch the documentary, their owner is very smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he entrusts Beasley with a lot of decisions that they yeah. make. So, I'm I'm honestly looking for. I like watching Leeds. Like I, I generally. No, me too. The owner, an English guy. He's no, he's Italian. Italian. He's really cool. Yeah, he's <laughs> a young Italian guy. He's imagine nuts. like trying to talk Maggie. to like Beasley in a meeting, and he's just like. On his knees, staring at the ground, just like, like squatting, squatting. just Full like squat. in fire Full hydrant squat, squat mode, just muttering. <laughs> he's just like, like good. <laughs> he's always he's in that he's always in that frog position, just yeah. like in a meeting in a boardroom. You know, I played little league baseball growing up, uh, and <clears throat> occasionally I'd catch. It wasn't my main position, but even a few innings of that shit, and you feel it. And he's an an older man who squats like a frog for like almost seventy five minutes a game. I don't. Are I, some people's legs just built that way where it's more comfortable in a seated position I think like he's that? Just different. It's just that lead. My, uh, going on my JV guy, coach man? used to do that. It's that lead like fitness lot. program that they got going I get, over there. That, his quads <laughs> must be like the strongest things. He must be a pretty like he probably like still beat my ass, malleable guy. Yeah, probably. If I tried play, to, if I tried to mug soccer? him, he beat my ass. <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing he did. Yeah, I feel like. Anyways, um, anyway, on. yeah. Well, uh, that's I wanted to. I'm just look. I was look, been looking at my phone the last two minutes. Oh, Leeds, yeah. are, Leeds are in 11th right now. They're 12, 3, and 14. And Fulham Football Club are in 18th, chasing Newcastle, who we're about to talk about. They're 5, 11, and 14. Amelier also had a phenomenal game. Mm-hmm. Um, he made huge saves. Young guy, scouted football guy. There was Frenchman. Uh, Frenchman. Yeah, he is French. Um, but there was Fulham had like eight head balls bouncing <laughs> around the box. And then 
I forget who, but someone struck the ball. Amelia made like a strong right-handed save that was pushed far to the corner. And then he also made a, another big sa- save later on in the game. Like he just showed up that day. He has had some errors this season, but as any young keeper so will. So young though. And yeah. he's recovered from those errors. It doesn't seem as though he gets in his head. Um, I think that's also like what leads chasing the game has to offer. He's going to he's like, gonna learn a lot like, playing yeah. on this team. Like, like he, he's going to bring this season – and as many seasons as he plays with Leeds, he's going to bring that with him in his career. And I think, again, it's just like taking off. I don't, I don't know. I, it's hard to make him out of 4-4. But like when he's playing for other teams now, he's going to be thinking, wow, this defending is incredible. Like this is just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed my time at Leeds. But man, oh man, like I got f- four guys behind the ball right now. This is great. <laughs> I can see. Just chill. <laughs> I yell at them and they listen to me and I can move the line around. And He's definitely one to look forward to in the future. Yeah. Moving uh, on. Also didn't know he was French. Yeah, we yeah. big frame. Range. He's a big, yeah, big frame. See, he looks like he's big like ears. Hungarian. He or definitely something. doesn't like to be touched in the, on the head. Definitely not a head touch guy. There's a <laughs> yeah. few of them walk coming or walking around the Premier League this year. Huge ass ears. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean the ears are there. Uh. <laughs>